Man, we gotta talk about something. I've been putting it off for a really long time, but I just can't ignore it anymore. I think I know where you're going with this, bro, and I totally agree. <sighs> Same time? Mm-hmm. We, we gotta, gotta kill, kill Hitler. Hitler. Oh. I'm so relieved. Dude, how have we had a time machine for so long and not even tried to kill Hitler? It's embarrassing. What if we ran into somebody else who had a time machine? What would we tell them? I don't even want to think about it, man. Okay, we doing this? Let's kill Hitler. One fateful day broken down. Actually, are we sure we want to just jump into killing Hitler? I mean, maybe we should warm up to it, get loose. Okay, okay, something smaller. Baby Hitler. What? No. Why don't we try to help somebody out first? Okay, well it always sucks when somebody like dies broke and they don't get famous until after their death, right? Yeah. Sassy Gay Computer. Yeah. What you got for us? Let's see. Edgar Allan Poe, writer, orphan, disowned by his foster parents, white died of tuberculosis. Yikes. Died penniless, died alone. So sad. Yeah, all right, we can definitely help that dude. Let's go. One fateful day, broken down and out of options, Tim and Rick stumbled upon a long forgotten recipe. Ancient secret fish sauce, hot as balls, hot sauce, and saliva of the chosen. When combined, the ingredients granted them the ability to travel through time. This is Tim and Rick's time machine. Alan Poe, you are a garbage person living a garbage life. Well, you were. Yeah, but we're here from the future to help you turn that garbage life around. What's going on? Please save all the questions until after the presentation, sir. Yeah, Edgar, focus. We're trying to help you get back on your feet. And to help you do that, let's take a look behind door number one. Elizabeth, come on down! In it, in it, in it. Here we have Elizabeth standing at five feet eight, weighing a hundred and uh, something pounds, and she is the original working girl with a heart of gold. And Edgar, today must be your lucky day because she's agreed to let you smash that ass. If you don't take it, I for sure will. Samesies. What is the meaning of this? I am married. Just, what did I tell you about asking questions, Edgar? We know your wife is still here in spirit or whatever. My wife is simply at rest. She's 24. We've been married for 11 years. Doesn't that mean you got married when she was 13? That's correct. Ew, that's gross. Chill, bro. We're here to teach him stuff, you know, but ew, that is gross. No, don't get the wrong idea. She was my cousin. Nigga, what? N-word, what? <laughs> yeah, zombie! Virginia. <coughs> what are you doing out of bed? I heard voices. And I'm feeling a little better. I thought you said his wife was gonna be dead when we got here. Close enough. Sweetheart, you should be resting. But first, you need to take your medicine. Oh! That's way too weird for me. I mean, listen, I'm kinda down now. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Just great, huh? So resilient. So you guys say you want to help me? Look, man, we're just trying to get you mentally prepared for when your wife dies. Uh, if your wife dies. You, you know what, let's, let's just shift gears. Let's talk about your work. We took a look at your stuff and we're noticing a little trend. Mm -hmm. Poems, Edgar. Bitch ass poems. What's up with that? Aren't you aware that scientifically, astronomically speaking, poems are like the lamest form of literature? I'm not so sure that's true. From every depth of good and ill, the mystery which binds me still, from the torrent or the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain. Drill. Come on, man. Fountain, mountain, that's soldier boy type shit. Yeah, and what's up with the accent? Stop doing that. Poetry is the noblest of art forms. Man, these are basically just whack ass raps. You're trying too hard to rhyme. Yo. Is there a giant light bulb over my head right now? I don't think that was invented yet. I see a candle. Hell yeah, because I just got the best idea. You need to invent rap music. 
You just walk around with a giant history of rap in your back pocket? It's a black thing, bro. Oh. So you want me to switch careers? Guys, I know making a living off of poetry is tough, but I can do this. No, you can't, Edgar. You're gonna die broke and lonely. That never happens to rappers. Virginia, dear. I'm sorry, gentlemen, I must tend to my wife. Thank you for your time. Please, show yourselves out. What? He wasted his time. Should we tell him his wife's gonna die? Nah. Uh. Oh, Virginia. I think he just found out. Yeah. I just found out. She died. I told you. Let's get out of here, bro. Leave the book, though. All right. We do. I don't want to see the. I'm going to go this way. Okay. That turned out all right. You know, timing was a little off, but, you know, that's what practice is for. I don't know, man. Did we actually change anything? Yeah. It's a notorious POE coming at you with a brand new joint. R.I.P. Virginia Poe. You were the best cousin wife a dude could have. Once upon a midnight dreary as I pondered oh, The weak and the weary while I nodded And nearly napping Suddenly there came a ta ta tapping As if someone was gently rapping Rapping at my chamber door Yo, Po got bars, son Wait a minute We better get a royalty check for that Distract you, wait. I'm in trouble. I'm coming, Tim. 